The Flash is a student form for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions, research, write, shoot, and broadcast news stories they deem important to the ECU community. Stay tuned. Hey ECU, welcome to this episode of The Flash. Today is May 18th and it's National Cheese Souffle Day. Owen, do you know what cheese souffle is? Nope. Today we have three tubular stories for you, ECU. First, a story about the cost of prom. A teacher with a different side to her. And then, a campus question about the senior slide. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for the, the Flash. Hey Eastview, it's Maddie. I'm Carl. Hey, Welcome back to the day's episode. Hey, it's Maddie. Welcome to the Flash. Another episode of the Flash. Stay tuned for the Flash. Hey, Owen, are you going to prom? No, I'm a sophomore. What's your excuse? Well, you know. <laughs> Uh, anyway, some students are concerned about the high cost of prom. Maddie took a look. With the weather getting warmer and the school year almost over, there's a lot to look forward to. Classes are coming to an end, summer is just around the corner, and there's one big party that all upperclassmen are looking forward to. Prom. Prom is different. It is off-site. There is a full dinner involved. It's the time to dress your best. So f for seniors especially, it's kind of a fancy way to end their high school experience. So while it's like many of the dances, it's also very different. Prom can be controversial with people having mixed opinions. I'm very conflicted about prom. Like it sounds extremely fun. It sounds like it's gonna be like the time of my life, but it's also like really expensive. And I feel like there's a lot of stigma about like only going to prom if you have a date or like going with your boyfriend or girlfriend. And I guess that part of it is kind of what's like holding me back. Prom can be a big investment with the ticket alone costing $85. One thing, uh, it is very expensive, a lot more expensive than homecoming, so I was a little less enthusiastic about going. How much have you spent so far on prom? Um, a lot. I started my prom shopping kind of late, so I ended up getting more than one dress because I needed it to be perfect and I didn't want to be like the only girl who's wearing this like really random dress and I wanted to have my moment, so I spent a lot of money on like dresses. After lockdown and two years of prom being canceled, it can be a relief to know it's finally coming back. I definitely do think it's a part of like the high school experience. I think it's just like at least going to prom once your junior or senior year is just it kind of makes high school a little bit more fun. And especially after COVID, after so many things have been canceled for classes like above us, I think it's just something that we have the opportunity to do and we should use it. Mr. Kemp has a message if you have any concerns. Um, if you have any last minute questions, reach, find me. I'm in A106, Miss Hangel. She's busy, but she's around. Um, just any clarifying questions or logistics you need um, to make it a really fun and memorable experience. Signing off for The Flash with help from Georgia and Sam, this is Maddie. If you have any more questions about prom, you can ask Miss Hangel or Mr. Kemp. Cool, I'm definitely going to prom. Next, we'll take a look at a story about a teacher right here at Eastview that has a different side to her. Jordan has the story. Meet Eastview teacher, Miss Rudd. Hey. Hi, I'm Becky Rudd, and I teach academic coaching at Eastview here. This is my second year at Eastview. Last year, I taught Spanish, and that's what I'm licensed in. And then this year, I'm teaching ACE. But the thing I love about my job is the students. I get to talk to a lot of students and connect with them and really work with students all day. All day she works with students, but at night she has another side. So in school, I teach ACE class um, at Eastview, and then at night, you know, I get to come and skate and roller derby, and it's fun having like an alternative personality. Met one derby, um, one roller derbyist, I would say. Um, she's a school teacher, so you gotta look at like their personalities outside of here. I like roller derby, and she's in it. That's how we kind of got to know it. I was wearing my roller derby hat, and Miss Hengel introduced me to her. She's like, no, there's a teacher here that's in the roller derby. So on the track, um, I'm one of the track leaders. You know one of the vets that's been skating for a while. And then I am a blocker. And we are trying to slow them down, so we try to hit them out of bounds, or we try to make walls and shapes to stop them. Or So you play offense and defense at the same time. Roller derby is a physical sport, yet it is creative. You get to dress up, be fun, almost like be somebody else for a night, which is really fun. Oh, you gotta have a character. <laughs> you have to, it's derby. It's well, creative expression. It, it, it really is, because you know, so many of these skaters that you see, they have full-time jobs 
or they're the teachers, students. lawyers, doctors. Yeah, and, and they need an escape. For roller derby members and fans, the sport offers a place to belong. It's really just the most welcoming community that I've ever been a part of, and that's what I really love about it. It's, it's a lot of fun here. Everybody gets to be somebody other than their day-to-day -day job self. Yeah. You can catch the next roller derby bout on May 28th at Roy Wilkins Auditorium. Sometimes I get the urge to hit people in the hallways, but I never do. So don't worry, you're safe. Reporting for The Flash, this is Jordan. Wow, I did not know that about Miss Rod. Me neither. Did you know I'm something of a rollerblade prodigy myself? Really? Oh yeah, check this out. As we end the year, we took a look at the senior slide. I think seniors get it easier. Uh, well, not really, because I'm in like a couple study halls with a bunch of seniors. I see them doing the same amount of work I'm doing. I don't think they're really slacking off, to be honest. I say that you know, they still have work to do, and they also want to graduate. So yeah, I don't think they slack off. It's just kind of given to us anyways. I just feel like everything just kind of let off a little bit. And especially like after you like submit everything to colleges, you just kind of stop caring as much. We have teacher sliding too, so and we have 10th grade sliding, and we have everybody sliding, but senior sliding is by far the worst. I definitely do think that they have it easier. I think just because you're committed to a college now, it doesn't mean you can slack off. It's really just, I just have time because all the study halls I have, to be honest. I don't really have to apply myself outside of school that much. We are graduating, so... Like, I feel like the graduation is like the main thing everyone's like focused on right now. The motivation for seniors goes way down the last few weeks of school. Once you can start counting how many days are left and grades are pretty much done, I think they're done. As a whole school, I think we're also taking it easier because it's the end of the school year, you know? Like you're thinking about summer, you're not thinking about like school. Just stay organized and make sure that you're getting in your work all on time and make sure you know what you're doing, when to turn it in, and just how you've been doing the last three and a half years of your life. Oh, seniors, I just want you to enjoy every last minute. Make the most of this because this is the last chance you get. So do what you can to finish strong, finish as strong as you started. It's important to remember to finish the year strong. And seniors, make sure that you're in good standing to graduate. Evan, are you in good standing to graduate? Maybe. Oh, well, that's all the time we have for you today, Eastview. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for the, the credits. credits. Hey Eastview, welcome to today's episode of The Flash. I'm Sam. And I'm Godwin. No, and we stop. We're done here. Only graduating seniors are allowed to be in The Flash. Shut it all down. We're out. Get out of here. Go. What? 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 We're done. What? Oh my god, what are we gonna do? We do Godwin, where were you? Dude, look, I'm sorry, but the craziest thing just happened to me. I was getting blocked by Miss Rudd in the hallway. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get the class. Yo. There's no way that happened. There's no way. There's, Dude, I promise there's, you. Can we be serious? What are we gonna do? We can't graduate. I don't know. Uh, we could petition the school board or something. No, no, that would never work. Um, that's gonna take too long. Um, I think I have just the right idea, though. What? Are we not what? It's not fair. Come on. What are you, what are you doing? Well, this is the plan. What about that look said kidnap JJ? Uh, I don't know. I just thought it'd be the best solution, right? How did you even get him up here? Oh, uh, well, they, they fixed the elevator. Oh. I can yeah. see why you two aren't graduating. Shut, Shut up, up, man. Okay, right. okay. Here's what I'm thinking, right? So we have one of their staff. JJ, JJ, right? They have to let us graduate. No, they don't. Why not? <laughs> Why are we not graduating anyways? Because you have $10,000 in unpaid parking fines. No. I'll start the ransom note. Yep.